In Acts chapter 1, after Jesus ascended to heaven, we find the early disciples meeting together in someone's house. Scripture is very clear that the church is the body of Christ. It isn't a building. In a church multiplication movement, churches that meet in homes can reproduce much more quickly than church buildings can be built. In Tunisia, a small handful of church buildings exist, remnants of colonization. Tunisian authorities converted many of them into police stations or National Guard outposts. A few hundred people at the most could ever fit into them. The existing buildings are not even close to sufficient for the 10 million people. However, there are enough houses for the 10 million people. House churches require minimal overhead and can be easily replicated in other homes. Offerings given by believers can be used on people instead of building maintenance and construction. House churches are generally not organized under a single authority or hierarchy of authorities and are historically seen as more dynamic than other models. They may lack a unifying structure, but they are less vulnerable to suppression by a hostile government, an important point as Tunisia is currently in the midst of political change. No one knows how the future government will view the church. House churches can't be shut down or locked up. Believers can always find another place to meet, even if it's only a few together at a time. Father, we ask that as house churches form in Tunisia, they will be submitted to the authority of the Bible and led by the Holy Spirit. May these churches stand firm in the essentials of our faith and show grace in the non-essentials.